somebody commented on my video wanting to know how I went about rendering this type of stuff. He called this, what did he call it? Let me scroll down and look at it. Uh, could you maybe do a tutorial on rendering the viewport? Well, it's not called viewport rendering or rendering the viewport. I had to look it up to actually find out what it's actually called. It's called OpenGL rendering. And what it does, it just basically saves a lot of time, allows you to output a draft quality version of your animation. That way you can play it back at full speed. And because uh, basically if you're just previewing through the viewport and you have a very complex scene, it will not play at full speed just because of how complex it is. But this OpenGL rendering allows you to output your uh, animation in preview preview quality that way you can play it back at full speed now I'm going to show you how to go about doing that and here's the blender page on it OpenGL rendering explaining what it is and so forth I'll go ahead and put this the link to this explanation in the description of this video here is the same uh, setup I have in that video that that person commented on and how you go about using the OpenGL rendering basically you set up your output and so forth just like you would normally have it set in your final render and in my case it was 25 frames per second and I always output OpenGL in video format because it's a lot simpler don't have to compile the video after the fact and it, it takes some a short period of time there's virtually no chance of uh, the rendering crashing the blender during the or blender crashing during the process so it's just easier to go ahead and output it in video format I'll go ahead and uh, just change my bitrate put it up at 10,000 this is up to your own personal preferences and to activate um, OpenGL it's very simple you just choose whether you want it to be wireframe solid textured or material I'm going to go ahead and just click on make sure or have wireframe there and then this little icon the, you have two little icons right here these are your open GL um, buttons if you push push the first one, one which is of a camera you basically just create a snapshot but if you pr press the second one that renders the entire animation and as you can see it's going through frame by frame and creating a viewport version or open GL version of the animation and it will just go through and whenever it gets to the end it will stop automatically and be done with or you can make it a solid view and then do the same thing very easy or my favorite the material because in this case it looks somewhat or it looks more like the actual render although you don't have the lighting and uh, shadows and so forth and even when it's in this mode it still does it so much quicker than doing a full actual render I mean I've been I started this what 10 seconds ago and it's already up to around frame 70 but anyway I guess that's all you need to know and um, let's I'm gonna go ahead and press escape and then so you can go up here to render and then play rendered animation and here's what it just rendered just in the last few seconds simple enough I hope that explains this for you uh, ototoxin I believe it is your name was but anyway I'm gonna put a link to this in the description of this video so you can read about it and uh, I guess that's it have any questions let me know later